Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick overlook and overview of this new quad here from Gep RC. This is the Cinebot 25. Now it's available in two different options. I'll go through the specs in a minute. There's the standard version, which this is, and the sport version, which has a slightly bigger motor set. And they are starting to ship models that don't come with any camera installed and no VTX as well. Interestingly, they've made the choice to design this around the DJI 03 Air unit only, but there is enough room here at the bottom if you wanted to, you could absolutely fit something like an analog VTX in here as well. I think it's a slightly odd choice, but I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through the details. So the features of this little Cinebot 25 are the design. So they have a reinforced carbon plate at the top, which everything bolts onto. And then the bottom part is an injection molded plastic piece, which includes the prop guards and also the enclosure for the O3 VTX, or there's enough room in there to put a small analog VTX as well. There's also vibration isolation for the camera. You get a couple of these in the box. I'll show you those in a minute. And those allow the camera to be slightly clearer and to avoid some of the jello effects that you can get with these smaller motors, particularly when you're capturing at higher resolutions. Two versions are available. This is the standard. There's also the S, uh, the Speedix 2 1404 motors and the Speedix 2 1505 motor if you get the S version. On the back, there's the Type-C connector to plug it into Betaflight and also a boot button at the rear, which makes setting and flashing an awful lot easier too. Mounting at the back for the different antennas, this is the Express LRS receiver that's in the back here. There's also the hole for the antenna for your FPV kit too. And if you use something like a 6 700 milliamp hour 4S battery, you should be able to squeak it under 250 grams if that's important to you. Inside this thing is the new Taker G4 45 amp all-in-one flight controller. And the bottom molded part, as I've said, is designed around the DJI L3 A unit. However, because of its size, you can fit a reasonable size analog VTX in there as well, even if it's one that's designed for a stack. So I'll unbox it, let's get a little bit more into the specs. So again, this is the Cinebot 25. This is a 2.5 inch 4S FPV racing drone. It's supplied without a VTX or a camera, as you can see here, available in two different versions, the standard and the sport. Wheelbase is 150 millimeters. Flight controller is the Taker G4 45 amp all in one unit. ESC is on this thing, a 45 amps and also running BL Heli. The propellers here are HQ Prop DT63 times four, and the connector is an XT30 that is part of the rear thing. I like that, you can just plug your battery in. No VTX, no camera, no antennas. Weight is about 138 grams-ish for your standard PMP version, and about 145 grams if you go for the Sport, with those slightly bigger motors. Recommended battery for this is a LIHV4S, 660 to 720 milliamp hours, and the flight time is advertised anything between about five five and eight minutes but that really depends on how you are going to fly it obviously to finish building this out you are going to either need an analog unit that's going to fit in the bottom or an o3 air unit that you can put in there with something like a, one of the standard cameras or something like a run cam link wasp for example Inside, there is a ton of room for universal VTX mounting options here. And I'm really confused at why they would just design the bottom part of the model to only support an O3 Air unit and then advertise it as, oh, it can do analog as well because we've left enough room. It would be super easy for them to design this bottom part of the plate to be a universal enclosure that could take HD0, Walksnail, DJI 03, Analog, whatever you want. So it's really confusing as why they have built it around the 03 Air unit. And that's my only problem with it. GEPRC makes some really nice quads and this is no exception. But I've heard stories of DJI applying lots of pressure to manufacturers like GEPRC and I think also people like iFlight and others are falling into this trap that when they make these kind of bind and fly or ready to fly, almost ready to fly quads, that they have to design it around the L3 Air unit or they won't supply them with any kit. I've also heard stories of DJI not honouring warranty and repairs of any of the O3A units that have been supplied as part of a ready-to-fly model. So maybe that's part of this. Maybe that's what GEPRC are trying to do here, is get around the fact that by buying and supplying your own O3A unit, you're actually able then to return it if something does go wrong. 
Are DJI really that worried about systems like HD0 and Walksnail that they would allegedly tell manufacturers like this to only design their kit around L3? Well, I think from the stuff that we've seen over the past 16 months, I think the answer is if they are doing it, I think that could definitely be one of the big reasons they are. Walksnail and HD0 have taken a lot of market share in the hobby away from DJI, particularly because they are more hobby friendly and work more closely with projects like Beatflight, iNav, Gyroflow and other of the key projects that we use on a daily basis. So sadly for me, I can't build this out. I don't use L3 air units. I get them in some of the kit that I do for review, but if I was going to build and fly this, I'd want to stick a Walksnail unit here in the bottom. And at the moment, I'd kind of have to zip tie it to the bottom of the case, which just seems a rather silly way to do it. Stop listening to your DJI reseller rep and design something for all pilots. When you're thinking about doing these kind of enclosures, they're great, but just make them big enough to be universal, and then all of us can fly your fantastic quads. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.